Welcome to Book Buzz Reviews and Summaries. Have you ever wished for a book that feels like a warm, comforting chat with a dear friend? One that's packed with humor, honesty, and a dash of cheeky wisdom? Look no further than me. You. Not a diary by the brilliant Don French. This isn't your typical diary, it's a playful, deeply personal exploration of life's ups and downs, served with French's signature wit and charm. Don French, beloved comedian, actress, and author, invites you into her world, sharing her thoughts on everything from love and loss to joy and silliness. But this book isn't just about Don, it's about you. It's a space where you're encouraged to reflect, laugh, and maybe even scribble your own thoughts alongside hers. With each page, French blends the profound with the hilarious, making you feel seen, understood, and utterly entertained. Whether you're having the best day or need a pick-me-up, this book is like a cozy blanket for the soul. Ready to dive into a book that's as heartwarming as it is hilarious? Join us as we explore the delightful pages of me. You. Not a diary, where life's little moments take center stage with a smile. Introduction, The Unexpected Journey Begins. Imagine you've just received a beautifully wrapped gift from an old friend you haven't seen in years. You know the kind, someone with a wicked sense of humor, a big heart, and an uncanny ability to make you laugh and cry all at once. As you unwrap it, you find a book, but it's not just any book. It's a diary, a sort of anti-diary, really. The title catches your eye, me. You. Not a Diary, by Don French. This isn't a book you merely read, it's a book you experience. Don French, the beloved comedian, actress, and writer, invites you into her world with this quirky, reflective, and humorous journey. It's like sitting down with a cup of tea, or something stronger, having a chat with a dear friend who's just as eager to hear your stories as she is to share her own. In this review, we'll explore me. You. Not a diary, as more than just a book, it's a conversation, a reflection, and perhaps most importantly, a shared journey of self-discovery and joy. Chapter 1, An Invitation to Play The first thing you notice about Don French is me. You. Not a diary, is its invitation to play. This isn't a conventional book with a beginning, middle, and end. It's a collection of musings, thoughts, and prompts that encourage you to engage actively with the text. It's as if Dawn is sitting across from you, leaning in with a twinkle in her eye, and saying, let's have some fun, shall we? From the moment you open the book, you're drawn into Dawn's world, a world where humor and wisdom are intertwined, and where there's always space for a little silliness. The structure of the book is unconventional, reflecting its purpose as an interactive experience. It's divided by the months of the year, with each section offering a mix of anecdotes, doodles, questions, and prompts designed to make you think, laugh, and maybe even cry. The tone is light-hearted yet deeply personal, a testament to Dawn's ability to balance humor with introspection. She writes with a warmth that makes you feel like you're chatting with an old friend, one who knows all your secrets and loves you anyway. And that's the key to the book's charm, it's not just about Dawn, it's about you, too. As you turn the pages, you're invited to reflect on your own life. Dawn asks you questions, but not in a demanding way. She's curious, not intrusive. The book is full of spaces for you to write your thoughts, doodle your ideas, and respond to the prompts she offers. It's a diary, but not a diary in the traditional sense, there are no dates to fill in, no obligations, just an open space for your thoughts and feelings. This invitation to play is more than just a gimmick, it's an essential part of the book's appeal. It's about engaging with life in a way that's joyful and unstructured, embracing the messiness of existence with a smile. Dawn encourages you to be honest, to be silly, and most importantly, to be yourself. Chapter 2 The Art of Not Taking Life Too Seriously As you delve deeper into me. You. Not a diary, you begin to see the underlying theme that ties the book together, the art of not taking life too seriously. Don French is a master of finding humor in the everyday, of seeing the absurdity in life's challenges and laughing in the face of adversity. One of the most striking aspects of the book is how Don balances humor with vulnerability. She shares her own experiences, from the hilarious to the heartbreaking, 
with a candidness that's both refreshing and comforting. She doesn't shy away from discussing difficult topics, aging, loss, self-doubt, but she does so in a way that's infused with humor and hope. Dawn's stories are often self-deprecating, filled with the kind of wit that comes from years of being in the public eye. She knows how to laugh at herself, and in doing so, she gives you permission to laugh at yourself too. It's a liberating feeling, realizing that you don't have to be perfect, that it's okay to be flawed and human. This theme of not taking life too seriously is reflected in the book's design as well. The pages are filled with doodles, funny illustrations, and playful fonts that add to the sense of whimsy. It's clear that Dawn wants you to have fun with this book, to approach it with a sense of curiosity and lightheartedness. But beneath the humor, there's a deeper message. Dawn understands that life can be tough, that we all have our struggles and insecurities. But she also knows that laughter is a powerful tool, one that can help us navigate even the darkest of times. By not taking life too seriously, we allow ourselves to find joy in the mundane, to appreciate the small moments of happiness that are often overlooked. In me. You. Not a diary, Don French offers a masterclass in the art of finding humor in life's ups and downs. She shows us that it's possible to be both serious and silly, to face life's challenges with a smile, and to embrace the beauty of imperfection. Chapter 3 The Wisdom of Reflection While me, you, not a diary, is undoubtedly playful, it's also deeply reflective. Don French uses the book as a platform to explore some of life's big questions, who am I? What do I want? What does it mean to live a good life? And she invites you to do the same. The book is filled with prompts and questions designed to make you think. Some are lighthearted, like what's your favorite swear word, while others are more profound, such as what's the one thing you would change about your life if you could. These prompts encourage you to pause and reflect, to consider your own experiences and beliefs. Dawn's reflections are often intertwined with her own personal stories. She shares memories from her childhood, her career, and her relationships, offering insights into how these experiences have shaped her. Her writing is honest and raw, revealing a side of her that's rarely seen in her public persona. One of the most powerful aspects of the book is how Dawn uses humor to explore difficult topics. She doesn't shy away from discussing her struggles with body image, her fears about aging, or her grief over the loss of loved ones. But she does so in a way that's both relatable and uplifting, using humor as a way to cope and connect. The wisdom in me. You. Not a diary, comes not from offering answers, but from asking the right questions. Dawn doesn't pretend to have all the answers, and that's part of what makes the book so engaging. She's on the same journey as you, navigating life's twists and turns with humor and grace. As you work your way through the book, you'll find yourself reflecting on your own life. You'll think about the things that make you happy, the challenges you've faced, and the dreams you still hope to achieve. And through it all, Dawn is there, guiding you with her wit, wisdom, and warmth. Chapter 4 A Celebration of the Everyday One of the most charming aspects of me. You. Not a diary, is how it celebrates the everyday moments of life. Dawn French has a knack for finding beauty in the mundane, for turning ordinary experiences into something extraordinary. Throughout the book, Dawn shares snippets of her daily life, her morning routine, her favorite foods, her thoughts on a rainy day. These moments are simple, yet they're infused with a sense of joy and appreciation that's contagious. Dawn's writing encourages you to slow down and savor the little things. She reminds you that life isn't just about the big milestones. It's also about the quiet moments, the small pleasures that often go unnoticed. Whether it's the smell of freshly brewed coffee, the sound of rain on the roof, or the comfort of a cozy blanket, these everyday experiences are worth celebrating. The book's design reflects this theme as well. The pages are filled with spaces for you to jot down your own thoughts, to doodle, and to capture the little moments that bring you joy. It's an invitation to be present, to take a break from the busyness of life and appreciate the here and now. This celebration of the everyday is also a reminder to be kind to yourself. Dawn encourages you to practice self-care, to take time for yourself, and to be gentle with your own imperfections. 
She's a big advocate for self-love, and her writing is filled with affirmations and reminders to treat yourself with the same kindness and compassion you would offer to a friend. In a world that often feels overwhelming, me. You. Not a diary is a breath of fresh air. It's a reminder that life is made up of moments, some big, some small, and that each one is worth cherishing. Chapter 5, The Power of Connection At its heart, me. You. Not a Diary, is a book about connection, connection with yourself, with others, and with the world around you. Dawn French understands the importance of relationships, and she uses the book as a platform to explore what it means to connect with others in a meaningful way. Throughout the book, Dawn shares stories about the people who have shaped her life, friends, family, colleagues, and even strangers. These stories are filled with warmth and humor, and they highlight the importance of human connection. But the book isn't just about Dawn's connections, it's also about your own. She encourages you to reflect on the people in your life, to think about the relationships that matter most to you, and to find ways to strengthen those connections. Dawn also explores the idea of connection in a broader sense, our connection to the world around us. She writes about the importance of community, of being kind to others, and of finding ways to contribute to the greater good. Her writing is a reminder that we're all in this together, and that our actions, no matter how small, can make a difference. This theme of connection is woven throughout the book, from the personal anecdotes to the reflective prompts. Dawn's writing encourages you to reach out, to connect with others, and to build relationships that are based on love, respect, and mutual support. In a time when many people feel isolated and disconnected, me. You. Not a Diary is a powerful reminder of the importance of human connection. It's a call to reach out, to be there for others, and to build a sense of community in whatever way you can. Chapter 6 Embracing Imperfection One of the most liberating messages in me. You. Not a diary is the idea that it's okay to be imperfect. Dawn French is refreshingly honest about her own flaws and insecurities, and she encourages you to embrace your own imperfections as well. The book is filled with stories of Dawn's own missteps and mistakes, from embarrassing moments on stage to personal challenges she's faced. But rather than dwelling on these moments, Dawn uses them as opportunities to learn and grow. Her writing is a testament to the power of vulnerability and the importance of accepting yourself, warts and all. Dawn's approach to imperfection is both humorous and compassionate. She doesn't take herself too seriously, and she encourages you to do the same. Her writing is filled with self-deprecating humor, but it's never mean-spirited, it's the kind of humor that comes from a place of love and acceptance. The book's design also reflects this theme. The pages are filled with doodles, scribbles, and playful fonts that add to the sense of whimsy. It's clear that Dawn doesn't want you to approach this book with a sense of perfectionism, she wants you to have fun with it, to embrace the messiness of life, and to let go of the pressure to be perfect. This message of embracing imperfection is a powerful one, especially in a world that often places so much emphasis on perfection and success. Dawn's writing is a reminder that it's okay to be flawed, that it's okay to make mistakes, and that it's okay to be human. Conclusion, A Journey of Laughter, Reflection, and Connection As you close the final pages of me. You. Not a diary, you realize that you've been on a journey, a journey of laughter, reflection, and connection. Dawn French has taken you by the hand and guided you through the ups and downs of life with humor, wisdom, and warmth. This book is more than just a collection of thoughts and musings, it's an experience, a conversation, and a celebration of life's imperfections. It's a reminder to find joy in the everyday moments, to connect with others, and to embrace the messiness of life with a smile. In me. You. Not a diary, Dawn French has created something truly special, a book that's as much about you as it is about her. It's an invitation to laugh, to reflect, and to connect with the world around you in a meaningful way. So, if you're looking for a book that will make you laugh, make you think, and make you feel a little less alone in the world, look no further. Me. You. Not a Diary is the perfect companion for anyone who's ready to embrace life with open arms and a big, hearty laugh. 
Read the book to learn more and please consider subscribing to support the channel and stay updated on future uploads. Thank you.